Hi everyone, how are you all doing? My name is Sadiq Hamidi. I'm a dental student at the University of Plymouth. Today we're going to be covering five reasons why you should do dentistry just to help out anyone that's stuck between uh, choosing dentistry in another course or you're questioning yourself if dentistry is really for you. Number one, as a dentist you have the power and the abilities to change someone's life for the better in two different ways. It can be functionally or aesthetically. So functionally, you can restore function in a way that they're able to enjoy food like everyone else does, or it can be aesthetically and giving them the smile that they've always wanted, uh, restoring that confidence, giving them that confidence to go out there, become more outgoing, and then after that, what that patient does with that confidence and uh, the change in lifestyle that they've got from the change in function or the change from appearance, um, after that, I guess the sky is the limit what they can do with it and it can all start with you. Number two, dentistry involves a lot of teamwork and you as a dentist most of the time are assigned automatically as the leader of that team. So if you are gifted in that department of being a good leader or being a good team player, uh, then you are gonna thrive. In almost every situation involving a patient, uh, you have to use your qualities and your skills to get the nurse and the patient to cooperate to enable you to do uh, your amazing dentistry. Some people say that leaders and team players are naturally born, but I believe that being around the right people and in the right environment, you can easily develop those uh, skills to enable you to become a valuable team leader and a valuable team player. Number three is that dentistry is a challenge, not just academically where you have to learn a ton of scientific knowledge to give you the foundations before you can start practicing, but in terms of yourself, how much you have to develop yourself to become that person, uh, become that motivating person, become that team player, become that team leader, um, become someone that your patients can look up to and uh, respect. Be motivated to take care of themselves in a way uh, that you best know that they should. Personal challenges where you feel like you're not good enough in certain uh, aspects of dentistry where you have to take responsibility and improve in order to become a, a good all-rounded dentist. Number four, dentistry is more than just drilling teeth. So most of us, when we think about dentists, we can picture a general dentist. Mostly because 80 to 90% of us routinely visit a general dentist and we rarely need a specialized sector of dentistry. But fun fact, once you've qualified as a general dentist, you can go ahead and specialize in any sector of dentistry that interests you. If you are someone who wants to stay away from drilling teeth, then you can choose, for example, to be an orthodontist who specializes in moving teeth to its best functional position in terms of the teeth looking its best aesthetically and also getting the most out of the teeth functionally as well. So, however, on the other side of the spectrum, if you are really into doing these hands-on procedures then you can go ahead and be endodontist and max fax if you want to combine dentistry and medicine together or even an oral surgeon if you are into the surgery aspect of dentistry and last but not least number five is that dentistry gives you the opportunity to meet a ton of like-minded people so just think about it the people that go into uh, dentistry. Uh, number one, they they are definitely academically gifted to be able to achieve such high scores to get into a competitive course. And number two, they most likely have a special talent that the university took interest to to take them on. Being around people like that most of the time, most students, um, me included in that category, sometimes feel dumb, start to compare ourselves with people that are better than us. Having gone through two years of dentistry, I've learned that you have to start celebrating people around you that are better than you. Uh, and that's the only way you're gonna benefit from them. You're more likely to learn their ways, how they've achieved what they've achieved, and how you can do the same. They are more than happy to share uh, their secrets in, in most cases. So realize that you have an opportunity to be around so many unique individuals that are amazing in their own ways, little ways, uh, that you can pick up little nuggets from 
and you can become a well-rounded person. Everyone says that the friends that you make at university is gonna last, last you for a lifetime and that's true. To be able to relate to them so much, to be able to understand them so much, each other and everything and to learn from them so much, I can't place a value on that other than just your time and your efforts to get there and, and get yourself there to be amongst them. At the end of the day, I hope all these five reasons helped you make your mind up if, you, if dentistry is for you or not. But I'll also be doing a video where I'll be covering five reasons why you shouldn't be doing dentistry as well. If I've done it already, then the link will pop up here. Um, if I haven't still, so stay tuned um, and hit that subscribe button as well. Leave me a like if you like this video and leave a comment with your opinion as well. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I wish you luck with everything that you're trying to do. You can do it and it just all depends on how much you want it and how much sacrifice you're willing to make for it all. So yeah, stay safe, stay home and stay motivated.